Engineering has been very hard because the terrain is very complex, but also we don't have a lot of this at Campbell, so it's been a great training, you know, uh, anticipating what terrain may come in a hostile environment, you know, you never know what you're going to go up. Uh, Dirt Days is we're coming out here to test new theories of maneuvering with our equipment, as well as testing new technology as in Miles and the ITN. The biggest challenge is just trying to find out how to uh, take all the pieces for the ITAS and separate it onto Skedco's and then dragging them up the mountains. Oh, yeah. and Bojo, so this is the first time that I know of that anybody from the 101st has been able to come to this training area and do this exercise. What I brought in was a leader training opportunity. So I only have squad leaders, platoon leaders, platoon sergeants, company commanders, and first sergeants with some enabling. So I brought my mortar platoon, my scout platoon, and then a few other soldiers that are my UAS operators, my uh, electronic warfare team, those guys. So it's a smaller group. I've got about 220 people here on the ground. The concept was that we would do a long range air assault for a joint forcible entry. We would land in three separate uh, LZs here in the area, and then each company would have its own maneuver corridor that they would move over very challenging terrain here to destroy air defense systems and secure key terrain. A dirt Days to me is you know, a great show of our technological advancements within the unit, uh, testing of new equipment, and just really showing the advantages that the unit possesses as well as some of our limitations. Uh, so far for Dirt Days, we've landed in an LZ, uh, assaulted through an objective, and uh, navigated mountainous terrain while avoiding enemy contact and maintaining uh, tactical proficiency. Engineering has been very hard because the terrain is very complex, but also we don't have a lot of this at Campbell, so it's been a great training, you know, uh, anticipating what terrain may come in a hostile environment. You know, you never know what you're going to go up against, so we're going to train like a fight. The equipment is a little heavy, but honestly, it's a, it's a great step in technology. It's amazing compared to the old Miles equipment. Lots of great technology in it, uh, incredibly accurate overall, like pretty great show of equipment.